Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Miami Hurricanes and the Kentucky Wildcats. Tonight, we've got an intriguing matchup at the point guard position. Number three is the great leader out on the floor for his team. The player we'll be matching up with tonight is also a great leader. It'll be interesting to see which one can compel his team to victory. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action, see what's in store for us. The Wildcats should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. Number one, pound the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big men in foul trouble. Secondly, make good decisions with the rock. Don't turn it over, baby. And finally, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. Both teams looking to get things going here. Working it around the perimeter. Down to the low block. Trying to work inside. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. That's a seven-zip run. Try to go inside for the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Takes the pass in the paint. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. The Hurricanes have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chilled. Wow, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. The point guard with the ball. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. The small forward takes the pass. Great shot. Leftwich is pretty fired up and excited. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Terrell fakes the shot. Goes up for two. Kentucky are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. But inside. He tries the three. Nice shot. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Basket falls despite the contact. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Trying to draw the foul. You're going to be seeing this one all week. pass in the paint. He's got a nice shot fake. There they are on the low block on the move inside and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. 
Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Dumps it in. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And run him right at the screen again. What did I say? For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Robs him of the ball. The shooting guard in the paint. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? Trying to feed inside. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. That's good. This replay is going to be an encore presentation everywhere. Looking for a good shot. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. He puts up the tray. It's good. it around the arc the shooting guard takes the feed and he scores despite the hack coach looks on focused a lot of intensity a lot of emotion he makes the block excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He comes away with it. Here they go into the break. For two. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They work the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Seemingly at an emotional low point at this moment, Dick. Hey, he may need some encouragement from one of his teammates. Here's a double team. The fans at Rupp Arena are in an uproar. Isn't that something? He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. Count it. He buries it. That's a 7 nothing run. Pushing that basketball. And the jam. He pump fakes. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Working it around the perimeter. Working around the 
perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. And a momentary look from three-point land. He fires from long range. He can't get the bucket to fall. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top. Gets up to make the block. Look the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Off the rim and no good. Up and in. Gave it up. The power forward gets the pass. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Another turnover. We're not talking out the turnovers either. Applying pressure. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He launches a three. This one looks to be headed for a blowout. Someone better step up in a hurry, baby. A double team waiting there from three point land. Gets it to go. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Stolen away. With a light steal attempt, the defense is looking to gain possession of the ball. He's got to pick and choose, Brad. Pick and choose when to go for the steal. Way off target. And the fans are going wild. The man is off the charts, Brad. Up and inside. He puts up the three ball. Oh, yes. Let's take another look. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. in the low block, but opted against it. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, the player matchup has been our focus tonight, and he's been effective because his teammates are finding him in the right spots, and he's knocking down all his shots, guys. Thanks, Aaron. It's his second. Both teams looking to get things going here. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And the ball goes out of bounds. Things are going well, and it's going well for the school mascot, too. I tell you, I love those mascots. They put so much enthusiasm and energy in the win. Here's a flash from the high post. Up and inside. On the low block. Ten on the shot clock. On the dribble, gives it up. A little frustration right there. Looking for a good shot. And now they'll bring it up. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Gotta think right now, gotta focus defensively. The kick out, the shooting guard gets the ball. Got a man in high post. 
Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. The ball goes out of play. The post flashes up high if he wants it. He's open if he wants the shot. He shoots from outside. This one looks like it might be over early, Dick. Can't argue that so far, but there's still a lot of ball left. On the outside. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. There was no doubt about that one. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. From right at the circle, he hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Fires it down. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Great anticipation defensively. Now they work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Let's it fly. Drains it. Takes up right on the defensive end. Makes it. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Leans in. Kentucky are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. On the outside. The kick out. Defense giving some room. He shoots from long range. to pick up the defense here now. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. From beyond the arc, off the rim and no good. Turns it over. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Kicks it out. They work it around the perimeter. Fakes it. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Oh, 
They work the perimeter for three. Sinks it. In the paint. There's the trap. Nice fake. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. And one too many dribbles and a steal. On the inside, puts it up, looking for contact. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Gave it up. Fakes the shot. Tries for two. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. The fans at Rupp Arena are in an uproar. Moving it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint for the bucket. He puts it in with contact and all. Steals the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Opportunity for two for one. For two, they still don't score. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. And he got them both. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Trying to draw some contact. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Shot clock is dead. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Defense! 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 That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. With the big shot. Misses on the three-point attempt. At the half, the Hurricanes are behind by 19. 
best play of that half. Let's take another look. Abrams has really been unbelievable on offense, Dick. He's just totally lived up to the billing we expected from him. I tell you, Brad, he's done an excellent job moving without the ball and also done a great job responding when the ball is in his hands. Everyone responded as a result of his strong play. Dick, it's all about teamwork, and as we start the second half and take a look at our player matchup update, it's pretty even. Well, they're really doing a great job. Both guys getting good shots, really making them count, and really their teammates are getting the ball at the right time. Controlling the ball. Can't get the shot to go. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Look at that! That's unbelievable, baby! Up and inside! Entry pass in the paint. Looking for the foul. Easy one! Let's go back and watch that basket again. Double team now, bad angle. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. the inside looking for contact Tara was a top recruit coming out of high school personally I can't wait to see how he's going to develop he was highly recruited out of high school hopefully he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special Woodson draw it's good he drew the foul off the hard take to the hoop nice job young man with one attempt. And there they miss one. Grabs the board. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far. Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. It's good. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Strips the ball. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He unloads a three. It's good. Take a look at this. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. It's electrifying in here. Mm. 
Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The ball goes out of play. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Kicks off the lazy pass. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. The ball goes out of bounds. He's got the man in the high post. If he can get it there, gave it up. He shoots from right in the circle. Abrams makes a trade. The Wildcats are up by 18. Takes away the pass. Dump it inside. For the bucket. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. On the dribble, gives it up. And they come with a double team to stop it. There he is, strips the ball loose. For two. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Terrell handles the pass. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Way off target. Terrell makes a great move to draw the foul. Check it out, Mr. Vitale. This young man is fired up. Look, he wants the crowd to show some love. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. Terrell goes to the line for the first time. He hits the first shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Both free throws go. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. In the paint. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Look at that spacing. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great play to take that to the basket. bucket and off the mark oh what a strip red they work the perimeter pull up jumper from way out Kentucky is showing a bit of a run here things are going their way right now Outside. He does the sweet fake shot. For two. In and out. He grabs the board. Goes up for two. And he missed. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the trap. Launches the three. It sticks.
He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Now they work it around the perimeter. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Basket falls despite the contact. They'll work it around the arc. They move it into the front court. Will take the shot. The Hurricanes have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Braddy's on fire. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. The Wildcats lead by 26. The fans at Rupp Arena are in an uproar. And a momentary look from three-point land. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Isolated on the outside. They were blocked. Ball goes out of bounds. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, the difference in scoring jumps out at me. It's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of his shot opportunities, and he's making the most of it. Thanks, Aaron. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Gonna move it around the perimeter. Hard foul. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, that absolutely makes you lose the air and you get balled like oh yeah. You, you can't miss free throws, Dick. It's gonna kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you gotta convert. That's the one thing, like football special situations, you gotta be able to execute there. He sinks it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He intercepts it. He blocks the shot. They get it out into transition. Royal pound it, draws the foul, and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby, that's his name. I like that in the player. To the charity strike. He got it. Jumped in front to take it away. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. High post flashes. This school is known for football. It's great to see that the basketball program is now getting some of that attention. Times are changing, though, Brad. They have been more competitive of late on the basketball court. Makes the shot. Jumps into the defender, and he scores despite the hack. Double team now, bad angle. Takes it off him. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. That's jubilation. Stolen. They 
Working around the perimeter. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. On the outside. He shoots from right of the circle. You betcha. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Entry pass in the paint. Trying to draw the foul. This kid's been nothing short of magnificent on defense. He's creating absolute havoc out there. Now the high screen. He puts it in with contact and all. Picks off the pass. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. To the line. Cashed it in. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Dick is doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Intercepted. With a deep pass. They work it around the perimeter. The defense senses a five second call. Working it around the perimeter. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. inside leans in great shot he takes the shot off the baseline Miami are on a bit of a run let's see how long they can keep it on Brad Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? At the free throw line. Opportunity. It's good. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Puts it up, looking for contact. Number 54 with the fake. For two, he might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Goes up for two. The Hurricanes have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. The fake. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step.
A couple of free ones. Makes his first. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Gets two at the charity strike. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle. And Slotted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Can't get the shot to go. They'll work it around the arc. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice fans are pleased now given the fact that this game is really out of reach it's almost an expectation Brad you're supposed to win your home games but win it by this amount my goodness on the dribble gives it up good fake they go inside and now back outside I tell you inside outside action always works oh yes Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Let's go to the videotape for that one. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. It on the floor and up and under. I think did a great job creating a good angle too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. come with a double team to stop it he takes it away Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there I tell you doing a great job fronting him trying to beat him to the spot playing in front making him throw the lob pass over the top if you get help you can take that pass away steal like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass isolated on the outside they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper picked out of the air Tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He looks for three. He comes up empty. He gets the foul, and the layup will count, Dick. Hey, way to play strong, my man. Way to play strong. He'll go to the line. He makes it. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Go. 
He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. The power forward in the post. And the slam. A double team. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Got a nice screen. The small forward takes the feed. Moving it around the perimeter. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Number double zero gets his first sweat of the night. Hey, it's important that this kid gets into the offensive action right away, Brad. He's going to make an instant impact. He makes the front end of the one and one. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Makes the shot. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Gave it up. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Shot clock is dead. And a momentary look from three-point land. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what a motion, what an edge for the home team. He's got some room. There's a double team waiting there. There it is again. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. Nick, we can talk about matchups all we want, but really it's not just always a one-on-one -on -one matchup. There's a lot of guys out there contributing. Well, I think it played out fairly well, but it's all within the realm of the team. The one thing I like about the Stars, they're playing as a unit with their teammates. Kentucky destroys their opponent. The outcome was never in doubt. It was always a question of how dominant they would be. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm...